Hey guys, it's Kelly and today I'm filming a new video. So in today's video, I am not actually going to be doing a vlog, but instead I'm just going to talk to you guys. This morning I woke up in a very eager mood to talk to you and it wasn't more of like you're showing you my day, but more talking to you about the things that are going on in my head. And I'm really sorry that this video will probably most likely be completely jumbled up and there's probably not gonna be a rhyme or reason to most of the things I'm talking about. But I figured I wanted to talk to you guys about my why and my why being why I want to be healthy, why I want to do X, Y, and Z and I'm just going to say leave it with this one line and it's just that I want to be proud of the person I am. And that's not just I want to be proud of my body, I want to be proud of the person that I'm becoming because I feel like I'm on the road to becoming somebody that like I've always dreamt of being. I know that sounds very cliche and I know it probably is just something that you might think is weird but I feel like I have lived in a bubble for the past 22 years of my life and I really want to reach out in my knowledge and like get to know more things and I feel like getting to know more things also helps me to get to know myself more. Recently I have been reading a lot of self-help books and they have been helping me a lot with finding my why. And before my why for losing weight was I want to be hot. I want to be like drop dead gorgeous. I don't want like pretty much I don't want to be ugly which I correlated ugly and being fat or overweight with being ugly, which is also not the case. You have fat, but you are not fat. And that is something that I have to remind myself every day. Some days it's easier to admit than other days. And I don't know, it's just one of those things that it's like, you're not fat, you have fat. But in the past I have lost 50 pounds and at no point of that was I ever restricting my calories. I wasn't counting my calories, I was just being a conscious eater. I also did IF for a little bit and I'm thinking about doing that again, but I'm not too sure just because I feel like it's gonna be harder now that I live with like, my husband to do that, but maybe if we do it together it will be better. But Brendan doesn't really like it because he always, he has to have breakfast or he's hangry. Also, another big thing that I want to live a healthier lifestyle for is because I'm in an abled body and I'm able to get up and do these exercises, so why am I not doing them? And I know that sounds kind of weird, but it's like there are so many people in this world that are not able to do the things that I can do and I feel like I'm doing such a disservice to them by taking the body that I have for granted and for like beating myself up because I'm not where I want to be but instead of trying to get there. So I want to do this because I'm an enabled body and there are so many people that are not able to do this and I want to show them that I'm not taking for granted what I have. Then another thing I really wanted to talk about was um, my struggle with eating disorders in the past. I have been clean for about two and a half years from my eating disorder. I struggled with mostly binge eating disorder but a small point of bulimia and I really would not wish an eating disorder on anybody not even my worst enemy I just like it's so defeating being feeling like that and like I don't really know how to put it into words other than it's just defeating and it's like how I feel about people who have eating disorders because I know how defeating it is and that's just like the word that I like I can't think of any other word to describe a eating disorder other than defeating and if you've ever had an eating disorder I would really just like to say I'm sorry like I or if you have one right now you can get through it and you will be so happy that you did because I thought it would be the hardest thing and trust me it was hard but every month that you get closer to your goal of like a year or two years or five years you are growing so much as a person. Just what I wanted to say right now, just because I know there are so many people struggling and I just want to say you're not alone and if you ever need to talk, feel free to message me. If you message me on Instagram, please comment down below that you're messaging me because I don't have my notifications on for Instagram because I'm trying to do like a social media detox, but I will 100% go on there to message you back. So over the past two and a half years that I've been clean from my eating disorder, I have messed up and I have binged, 
but I don't take that as a failure as in being clean but I take that more of a like I know that like it's not good for me so it's like like I've been in that mindset of like I don't need to do x y and z for two and a half years and I know that that might not be clean for most of you but for me it's just how I get through it because if I have to start over at zero it's just very defeating let me put it in perspective I've lost 50 pounds in the past and I haven't lost that much since then I've gained a few back but I'm not saying I'm starting from zero again I'm saying that I had a hiccup and I'm moving forward I'm not starting from zero I'm moving forward and I feel like when you say you failed and when you said say I'm moving forward both of them mean the same thing but the way you say it will help you in the long run and you can change your wording for any other mental illness anxiety depression anything and I feel like that is honestly the f only thing that helps me continually because like I have the worst self-talk I sit down and I say terrible things about myself because I'm afraid somebody else will say it and I honestly look for so much approval for everything that I do and I just want to stop doing that that if I'm leaving you with one thing it's to change the way you're talking to yourself change the way you're talking to others if you're being more negative assertively just be more positive in any way you can it can be as small as like oh I failed to changing to like I'm moving forward and I feel like doing that every day instead of like being so negative about yourself will in eventually help you get to where you want to be and a more like clear mindset you know it's hard to change old habits that you continually do but it's also even harder to stay on a road of negativity and not help yourself because by not helping yourself you're just getting yourself more down in a dark hole but every small thing that you do to try and add something positive to your day is helping you overcome that hole that you are in but I guess the f one thing I really want to leave you guys off with and I know I've said like this many times but read a self-help book read a book that is not about a story is not about anything other than like trying to find yourself one book i'd recommend is girl wash your face and then i'm also reading girl stop apologizing right now and i feel like those two books have helped me get into a mindset of like positivity and it's just been a short time it's been like two weeks because i read the first book a week ago but whatever but anything that will help you and anything that has helped me I kind of want to just push to you because like I want you to take it and try and help yourself I feel like I'm doing disservice to you guys by not showing you and telling you the different things that are helping me right now yeah I really hope you guys enjoyed this video I know it wasn't my type of videos I don't really have a signature type of video so I guess I can really do whatever I want right now but if you guys liked these little talks and want me to do them like weekly let me know down below because I have a lot going on in my head and maybe next time I'll write things down like key topics that I want to talk about but this time I just kind of woke up today and I was like you know what I need to talk to somebody about the few things that are in my head right now just because I feel like yesterday I was in a more negative mindset about like for one working out and also just like life about being like a failure but, but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video from me and i hope that if you want to see more of me you'll hit that little subscribe button down below but yeah i'll see you guys next time in my next vlog